Yo, what's good, y'all? It's a catch from Genica, and in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to top 10 saxophone solos in pop and rock. This is one of those videos that have been, you know, suggested to me for years, and I just never clicked on the video up until today. But uh, first things first, in case you're new to the channel, definitely make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that like button, comment down below your favorite parts, and let's get into this video. <laughs> Just the sax, man. Just the sax. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Dude just busted through the door with that saxophone. He's got the suit on and everything. This looks like it's from the 80s. .com. And today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 saxophone solos in pop and rock. Well, Ugh. Yeah, this is definitely some 80s type vibes. 80s saxophone was pretty big in the 80s for like pop songs so and rock. The saxophone is most commonly used in classical and jazz music. Many pop and rock musicians have and funk. Don't forget funk. Adapted the instrument into their sound. That's a good one. <laughs> I might have to cover that one at some point. For this list, we're looking at saxophone solos as well as the riffs that have become iconic in the I love the boards, man. I just know this is a really good song. I don't want it to copyright. <laughs> Pop and rock genres. So sit back and enjoy the soothing sound of this classic woodwind instrument. The name, pause. I never heard of this song, but this guy killing it. Yo, look at this man's drip. It looks like, you ever seen like the intro for like the Rugrats? And have you ever seen the intro for like the Wild Thornberries? It's like if those two worlds just collided, that would be his shirt. <laughs> his shirt would be the baby. Number 10, Never Tear Us Apart, In Excess. It may be hard to imagine now, but the late 80s ballad we all know and love See, I told you guys it was the 80s. was originally written as a Fats Domino influenced blues song. We could live for a thousand years. He's got the, can uh, what's it called, the Kenny G curls that might have been popular back in the 80s. Revamped and sweetened with a haunting sax solo from the band's Kirk Pengilly, the song became a top 10 hit in many countries and hit number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100. The dramatic pause just before the sax kicks in prepares us for an emotional musical journey. Yo, I actually love it as a saxophonist. Whenever you have that break right before, you already know it's about to be a crazy solo. You know, there's something cool, so you really you have to come correct. You have to come correct. Through the use of our favorite woodwind instrument. <laughs> Number nine, The Edge of Glory, Lady Gaga. There ain't no reason you the smoke effects in her video are really nice. You and me should be alone tonight, yeah, baby. I want to know who the saxophonist is. He looks cool. Tonight, yeah, baby. Released on Gaga's Born This Way album, the 2011 hit inadvertently became a tribute Gaga with the drip. to guest saxophonist and E Street band member Clarence Clemens when the big man passed on later that year. Clarence, hey, rest in peace. Rest in peace. This man was a legend. I think he's the one that actually played sax on, um, the Santa Claus is coming to town song. So soulful, man. His tone is really cool and his growl is nice too. Clemens was contacted on a Friday afternoon to record and by 3 a.m. the following morning had completed his part, which is even more remarkable as he flew from Florida to New York just for the session. So this man flew all the way from Florida to New York just to do this. That is lit. That's dedication. He's really professional. I love, I'm not gonna lie, saxophone is probably one of my favorite riffs. I mean, you guys know my channel, it's not live, but 
I love the sets when it just beats to me. With few sax-based tunes on the charts, having Clemens appear on the track was seen as a bold move on Gaga's part and actually helped the pop tune stand out. Band is cool. I love the scenery. It reminds me of like Batman. Um, if you ever play like the Batman games, it really reminds me of like Arkham City or something. That they're doing and they're about like it looks like a quarter kind of but it looks different number eight money pink floyd See, when i saw this i thought the song would be called money but like i'm thinking like money 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 bum, 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 bum. but I, I have no idea who made that song but yeah that might be uh pink funkadelic i have no idea Notable for Roger Waters' distinct bass line, David Gilmour's bluesy guitar solos, and the track's odd time signature, Money is also home to one of the most famous and recognizable sax solos. I actually never knew they had a... I never heard the song all the way through. I never knew they had a sax solo in there. See, that's like... A lot of times when you hear these type of songs, Usually if they're from the 80s, it's a tenor saxophone and he's growling. That's why it sounds so like angry or whatever. It's cool. This guy is actually violent. Played by Dick Perry, who also saxes it up on Us and Them. The solo is played on a tenor saxophone and is backed by the groovy bass line, chaotic drums, and vintage keyboard. Due to his ability to really, really play, Perry toured with the band from 1973 to 1977 and appeared on two additional Pink Floyd albums. Yeah, he's, he's a good sax player. Number 7. Who Can It Be Now? Men at Work. most confident saxophonist out there. He just busted through the door with the suit and everything playing this line. Written by singer Colin Hay and propelled by Greg Ham's intoxicating sax hook, this classic pop track put the sax in the forefront of 80s pop. That was a good idea. That's, that rest is actually pretty catchy. The band's first single, the track hit number two in their native Australia, but fared slightly better in America where it hit number one, kicking off the decade's bizarre but endearing obsession with the land down under. Number six, urgent, foreign. Kind of looks like I may be completely wrong. I don't know if that's Bob Berg or not, but he kind of looks like this. He's got like an auto lift knocky too. Ah, no, that looks like Bob Minson. A number four Hot 100 single off their landmark album 4, this track features hot, soulful sax from Motown legend Junior Walker. Okay, I was completely wrong. And were able to get the real deal when they learned he was playing a show blocks away from the studio. There used to be so much getting work, I feel like, getting gigs, I feel like it's kind of different compared to what it used to be back then. I wish I could live.
something so far. That growl, that growl always makes its appearance in these types of songs, you know, this type of style of music, especially during this era. Number five, the logical song, Super Tramp. When I was young, it seemed that life was so wonderful. The miracle, all it was beautiful. That is a tax track. Magical. As one of the band's biggest songs on both sides of the Atlantic, listeners by the millions may have been sucked in by the opening electro piano, but they stay for that saxophone. Recorded by the band's John Hellowell, this solo was recorded in a bathroom as the it was recorded in a bathroom. band was into experimenting with different acoustics. That is tough. The track also features the sounds of some popular toys of the time, such as an electric football game and the popping of the board game Trouble, a playful tactic for a playful tune. Let's get to the main thing that we're kind of waiting for. The guy in the thumbnail. This guy has been daunting me for like years upon years. I have no idea who this is. But let's get into it. Only 10 minute jungle land. <laughs> However, it is Born to Run that Clemens is known for, as it captivates listeners and fans alike from the first note. What is this place? So basically that was playing Clemens the whole time. Number two, Careless Whisper, George Michael, Wham. That's literally the most popular song right now for saxophones. Everybody, when the saxophones, you guys can agree with me. When you're out and about and someone sa hears that you play saxophone, they're going to say, oh my gosh, you know that one song? You know, it's like, da, da, da. They'll be singing it off key and everything. Da, da, da. Yeah, cl cl Careless Whisper, that's the one. Do you not play it? You know, it always comes up. Literally always comes up. Released as both a Wham! and George Michael single, this 80s hit had a slow birth before it matched the sound Michael heard in his head. It's cool. I like this song. But I feel like ever since the... Nah, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'll just say, when you guys play this song, just make sure you put some, put some soul in there. Put some, like... Professionalism, put some fun in there, you know what I'm saying? Make juice that joint up. Don't make it sound like everybody else on the internet. Make it original and unique. I might have to tackle this at some point, Juice. I think I did. I'm not sure. If not, let me know if you want me to cover the song. Shoot. Alright, I know what song I'm gonna do this time. Here are a few honorable mentions. Funky. It's like 90% of these are tenor saxophone. Solo came out. Everybody
nobody was talking about it. <laughs> I checked it out, man. If only I knew how to make reaction videos back then. to play this one so Baker Street is undoubtedly the song Jerry Rafferty will be remembered for thanks to Raphael Ravenscroft's wailing later demoed on electric guitar, Ravenscroft suggested he play the line on an alto saxophone when a guitarist failed to arrive at the studio. I see. I see. Guitarist. Guitarist bailed. <laughs> That's why it became this happened. This, this crazy. You got nothing to do. This I... So, let me get this straight. Why are they playing an alto... The sound is alto, but the guy's playing the tenor, bro. They thought no one would notice, huh? Conic sax track single-handedly caused increases in saxophone sales, as well as the instrument becoming more frequent in pop and rock music. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite saxophone riff or solo? For more horn-blowing top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Alright, um, I won't lie, I thought that some other people were going to be on here. It wasn't exactly what I expected. It was a cool video, but I just, I don't know, I felt like some other people, like, where was Grover Washington Jr., you know what I'm saying? Just the two of us? Why did that never come in? He guys missed a lot of it. And this isn't 10 saxophone solos. Well, matter of fact, they said 10 saxophone solos in an octave or something. Well, yeah. But I don't know. It was cool, but it just wasn't... I feel like they could have chosen... Uh, that song was technically on the... I don't know. Maybe it's just not my thing, but... Hey, I enjoy the music I heard. I love, I think my favorite saxophone solos came from Clar Clarence Clemens. You know, I liked all his stuff. I heard him first on um, the Santa Claus is Coming to Sound song. I loved that, so I guess that would be my favorite. Uh, but yeah, let me know what your favorite saxophone solo was down below in the comment section. If you like this video, if you, I can't talk. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on social media. My links are down below in the description. You're also most, you're also more than welcome to donate to my channel. It definitely helps on my channel. My Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal are down below in the description. Also, make sure to turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And I have a huge surprise announcement. I will be dropping my debut EP, City Dreams. It will be dropping next year in 2021. So definitely look forward to that. I've got a bunch of people from the Philadelphia area on this project. So it's going to be lit. All my original music. So if you love saxophone music, you know, and you love saxophone solos, because I got a couple huge saxophone solos in there, definitely look forward to that. Um, you can check out my song City Dreams right now, actually. The link will be down below in the description and at the top of the screen as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, make sure to check out the rest of my videos. Let me know if you want to see more reactions. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. Let me close up.